Hello guys, I am CG. Thanks to all of you recently we crossed 1000 subscribers. So thank you very much for all of your support. Now let's start our video, this video is divided into 3 chapters. 1. Shading. 2. Outlines. 3. Lighting and composting. So we are going to start shading this good looking model that my friend created. As you can see there are lots of details in this model. So we will get a lots of good outlines. For starting I am adding a sunlight and deleting the world. So for shading we are going to start with legacy NPR shading. So to make a good looking shader we are going to add a shader to RGB node, color ramp and a diffuse BSDF. Set color ramp to constant. And adjust it as it work for you. And keep that in mind that we are shading it in render more not in material preview. Now add a mix RGB node, and put color ramp in factor. Now I am adding a RGB color node and hue saturation node to get a dark version for shadow with a single color. Now I am adding a frame panel to make it look like more easy to understand. Now we are going to add texture details with procedural shading. For that I am going to use two noise texture, one with high stretch and another one with some huge noise spots. And then add a mix RGB node and set it to color burn. Now we are going to make a cavity map for our model to get more texture details. To make a cavity map, add a image texture, press new, and then name it cavity. Set resolution as you want, but for me 2K is more than enough. Now add a geometry node and a color ramp. And change render engine to cycles for some time. Adjust it as you like. After that go to bake settings, set bake type to emit, set margin to 10px, and then select your image texture and your model and click bake. Make sure your model has a UV for baking, for this model I used Blender's Smart UV URAP, after baking open a image editor panel to see your baked texture, and make sure to save it on your disk. Now we can switch back to EV render engine. Add a color ramp after our cavity map and adjust it as you like. Now we are going to combine all three texture sets to get a good looking shader. Now for addiction we are going to add a layer weight node to get some highlights on our model. Now to make other shaders we are going to copy all of these nodes and just change color to get results. Easy and simple. And now we are done with our armor. For outlines enable freestyle in render settings and set thickness as you want. And then go render passes and in freestyle lines you have to enable edge mark to get some custom outlines in render. 
Now we have outlines in render but there are too much thick so we have to adjust it. And now enable face smoothing in freestyles lines. Now we are going to mark edges to get them as outlines in render. First starting go to, select, select sharp edges. And then go to edge menu and select mark as freestyle edge. Now you will get more detailed outlines in render. You can mark more edges manually for better results. As you can see I marked lots of edges for freestyle outlines. I added a simple plane and made some displacement using geo nodes. Shading method is same as before. We are going to use legacy NPR of EV. But this time we are going to add normal map and a displacement map for texture details. For that just download a material with PBR texture and then copy the displacement texture and normal map from it. I am using Blender Kit add to get a texture to work with. And we are done with ground. I just applied a pose for our character to work with. Now create a new collection and name it Smoke. And inside that make two more collection as Smoke BG and Smoke FG. Now import any Smoke PNG you want to work with. Now the process is pretty much the same but we are going to use principal BSDF now and you just have to follow the process. For a simple background I just added a plane with sky blue cold. Now make sure the smoke you are going to add in front, you have to use a separate collection for it, so we made a collection FG for that. Duplicate the smoke plane and press M and move it to collection FG. Now for stylize smoke the process is almost same, but we are just using some anime smoke PNG you can get it from Google. And make sure to make a different collection for stylized smoke.
and we are done with smokes. I created some props and effects to get better visuals. Now you have to set color look to standard in contrast to very high contrast. Now we have to fix freestyle lines. If I render now you can see the outlines of image playing. And we don't want that, so freestyle menu you have to enable collection and select the collection in which out character is. But now the image planes in front is blocking the outline to be rendered. So that's why we created a different collection for front smoke to fix it. Click on view layer and name it background. And then click new add in another layer and name it foreground. Now you have disable all background elements in foreground layer. And now you have to disable foreground elements in background collection. Now composting method is really simple, so I think I just have to show the process instead of explaining. But to start with I rendered a frame to get it in viewer node. And enabled the use nodes. Now I just duplicated the render layer and select the foreground layer and combine them with alpha over node. And from now you just have to follow the process. I am using a black and white image to create vignette. Now I am using an electricity image PNG to make stylized gun effect. I am adding two more light sources to get some more vibe to it. So now we got the result we wanted. Thanks for watching.